an exit poll after today's national referendum, which was held simultaneously with parliamentary elections, suggests that not enough people voted for it to be valid. That would be a blow to the government, which called the referendum and included questions on the EU's migration policies, among other issues. The exit poll for the elections also indicates that the ruling law and justice, PIE's, party has lost power, whereas turnout for the elections was a record high of 72.9%, according to pollster Ipsos, for the referendum it was only 40%. For a referendum to be binding, the figure must be above 50%. The official results are expected to be confirmed by Tuesday at the latest. The holding of a referendum today was extremely controversial. Pies argued that it would allow Polish society to give a definitive, and binding, answer to important questions, the opposition and many experts. However, accused Pies of using the referendum as a means of mobilizing its voters for the election. They noted that the topics it chose for the four questions were not designed to offer genuine policy choices but instead to support PIS's attacks on the opposition. Many, including the previous head of the Electoral Committee, called on polls to boycott the referendum by stating, when they arrived at polling stations, that they wanted only ballot papers for the election. This, it was hoped would push turnout for the referendum below the 50% required for it to be binding, given the 33 percentage point difference in turnout between the elections and referendum, according to the exit poll, it appears that almost half of those voting today followed that suggestion. During voting today, figures linked to pies complained about reports that staff at some polling stations were asking voters whether they wanted ballot papers for the referendum. They suggested that this was an unlawful attempt to reduce turnout. Time equals 400 ms. greater than in the referendum. The first question asks, do you support the sale of state assets to foreign entities? leading to the loss of Pulse control over strategic sectors of the economy? Among those who voted, 97.5% chose, no, and 2.5%, yes, according to the exit poll. The second acts, do you support raising the retirement age, including restoring the increased retirement age of 67 for women and men? Here, 96% voted, no, and 4%, yes, third acts. Do you support the elimination of the barrier on the border between Poland and Belarus? Here, 97.8% answered, no, and 2.2%, yes. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than the fourth and final question acts. Do you support the admission of thousands of illegal immigrants from the Middle East and Africa under the forced relocation mechanism imposed by the European bureaucracy? Here, 98.6% voted, no, and 1.4%, yes, the exit poll was conducted at 900 randomly selected polling stations with a sample of around 90,000 people, far larger than normal opinion polls, which usually have a sample of around 1,000 respondents. At the last parliamentary elections in 2019, the exit poll, also conducted by Ipsos, was very close to the official results though that related only to parliamentary elections and not a referendum. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than this year's exit poll suggests that, although Pies won the higher number of votes in the election, it has not retained its parliamentary majority. The mainstream opposition, by contrast, appear to have won enough seats to form a new government. Notes from Poland is run by a small editorial team in published by an independent, non-profit foundation that is funded through donations from our readers. We cannot do what we do without your support.